This here is the original Microsoft Surface RT from 2012. So today we are going to take a look back at the Surface RT in 2023. Let's start with the build quality of the Surface RT. It is a very nice magnesium on the back and on the front it has glass. It also has a nice home button here. For the time it has a really nice build quality and it still holds up today. It still looks really nice. And there is also this magnetically attachable type cover and that is really cool. You can just quickly connect it magnetically and then it works. The screen brightness can actually go pretty bright but not insanely bright. It's good enough. And it runs on Windows RT which is a light version of Windows 8. And that means you can't install programs on here and only apps from the Microsoft Store. But the Windows 8 store definitely sucks and there aren't that many apps and the ones that are there are not so good. And this was at the time when Windows 8 just got released and you can see it is definitely focused on tablets and it has some really nice animations in my opinion. And there was also Office pre-installed for free so you can use uh, Excel, Word, PowerPoint all on this device. However, because it is running on Windows RT, you have to use the browser that is pre-installed, which is the Internet Explorer. Also, we are getting really close to 750 subscribers. If you would like to see more videos, then make sure to subscribe. Internet Explorer doesn't work with most websites anymore. So if I, for example, go to youtube.com, you can see that it doesn't work. Almost all websites don't work anymore on the Surface RT. And you can see that it is very slow. So here you can see that it doesn't work. And that is for a lot of websites. So you can't really use this device anymore in 2023 for internet browsing. But the user interface was really cool for the time. And I really like the animations. And it's definitely meant for touch screens. And also if you swipe from the right, you can get back to the app that you were on. And here you can also do a split screen if I wanted to. Here you can adjust the screen size. So that is really cool. And for unlocking methods, it had only a pin code, no Windows Hello. But this device was really impressive when it came out. It's also really cool that it had a magnetic charger. Sadly, you can't do anything with it anymore. The browser is too old, so it doesn't support websites. You can't install any software except for in the Windows Store, which sucks. The only things you can do is do a simple game, make a Word document, use it as a calculator or check the weather. Of course, you shouldn't buy one in 2023, only as a collector's item, but I think it was really cool looking back at it. What do you think of it? Let me know in the comments down below, and thank you so much for watching.